One more bite. One more bite. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Hey guys, I'm so excited to announce that I have three vegan trips coming up around the world. You can come with me to Thailand or Bali or both in August. And I also have a trip to Costa Rica happening in January. You'll get to meet and travel with me and other like-minded, awesome people from around the world. We're gonna eat some delicious vegan food, go on adventures and learn about the local culture. And we're also gonna have an experienced local guide. These trips are so amazing, so don't miss out. So whether you want to escape the cold and come with me to Costa Rica in January, or you can't wait to travel and you want to come with me to Southeast Asia, check out the links down below and don't miss out because there are limited spots. Hi guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another cook with me video. Today's video, we are going to be working with one of my favorite ingredients, uh, which is gochujang, yay! So this right here guys, it's not Korean crack because I call this thing Korean crack, which is toasted sesame oil, but it's basically close to Korean crack, okay? So this is gochujang, which is Korean red pepper paste. This is a very thick paste. I clearly have a very giant tub of it because I go through this very quickly. Okay, it looked like this. It is very, very thick and it is very red and it is very delicious. And you can do so much with gochujang. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with this. Um, but in case you're wondering what the packaging looks like, it usually looks something like this. So if you go to a Korean uh, or Asian supermarket, you may be able to find gochujang if you go into one of the aisles. I mean, if you go to a Korean one, you will for sure find this and they will have an entire aisle full of tubs that look like this. And the red one is usually gochujang, okay? So gochujang, red pepper paste. So we're gonna make gochujang noodles today, guys, okay? So I got some noodles ready to go. I'm just using some um, Korean somyeon noodles, which is basically thin wheat noodles. Uh, but you can use any noodles you want for this, really. Basically, I just wanna make some gochujang noodles. And we're gonna do it cook with me style, AKA I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do, but we're just gonna cook together and you can you know, listen to my thought process. Okay, so once I'm done this recipe, I know it's gonna be delicious. There's gonna be a blog post linked below, so make sure you check that out. Oh, by the way, I'm making gochujang sesame noodles, not just gochujang noodles, gochujang sesame. So yeah, the recipe will be linked down below. So let's get started. All right, friends. So I am boiling the noodles at this moment. That's gonna be very quick because the noodles cook fast. So what I'm gonna do is, so on this pan, let's add some broccoli. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil on this pan and cook up the broccoli and then we can make the sauce while the uh, broccoli is cooking. Again, I'm just winging this, my friends. I'm just kind of like doing whatever. That is a very tiny bit of oil, but I think that's all we need really. Do we need more? Not really. We're making this complete meal, so we are going to cook up some broccoli. Wonderful. We're gonna add edamame because we're making this a complete meal. We need veggies and we need protein and edamame is one of my favorite sources of protein. No, so the beauty of edamame is that you can buy it frozen. It's basically ready to go. So I just gotta throw it into whatever. And I think I'm just gonna throw it in here. You can also throw it in with your noodles. It's up to you, okay? Um, you can use any other protein if you want. You can add some tofu. You can do any other types of beans. I think chickpeas would be fantastic. Let me add some water. All right, so while our uh, lovely Broccoli and edamame are cooking up, which should take like two seconds, okay? We can make the sauce. The sauce, guys, I'm kind of winging it, but it's gonna be tasty. I can guarantee it, because gochujang is tasty. So, we're gonna add in some gochujang. As you can see, I keep it in like a smaller little jar because uh, the big tub is just, you know, inefficient. But uh, I have the big, big tub as backup. So I keep the gochujang in this lovely jar. I think I want it kind of spicy. Um, if you can't do spicy very well, I would do a little less gochujang. It's up to you. Um, but I, I I love spas. Okay, I love me some spas. Maybe that's a little bit too much. <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit. Okay, so as I'm doing this, I'm realizing um, this is gonna be a very quick recipe. So you could probably do this in like five minutes. And you might not even need this pan, okay? Let me explain to you. So, we have gochujang here in the sauce. I The noodles were already cooked because those noodles cook so fast. So all I did was I rinsed the noodles in cold water 
once they're done because I'm not done this yet okay now I'm like rushing okay so normally I would measure this stuff in advance but because we're just kind of winging this I didn't okay so next ingredient we're gonna use is tahini Woo -hoo! guys tahini is basically a sesame paste it is a very very savory sesame paste it is thick it is gooey and you can add it into a lot of things to make it nice and creamy so because we're doing a gochujang sesame sauce I'm gonna add some tahini in there as well and as you can see it kind of separates like the oil and the um, the paste separate that's just a natural thing that happens kind of like when you have natural peanut butter it separates so we're just gonna add some of that in there lovely very lovely and now I like to add a little bit of sweetener so I'm gonna add some agave nectar you can also use like sugar you could do maple syrup whatever you got to do I'm just gonna add not too much of it just a little bit next I'm also gonna add a little bit of rice vinegar this is gonna help bring out some flavors also just kind of I don't know how to describe it but it just you know makes it nice and tangy it goes really well with the tahini I find I'm gonna add a bit of rice vinegar. Let's give this a mix and give it a little try. I might need to add some soy sauce or something, but let's see. Okay, let's give this a mix. I mean, this could literally just be a five minute recipe, guys. Very simple. So the tahini is quite thick, so you might just need to be a little bit patient. Um, just give it a good mix. Come on, get the chunks in there. Okay, I'm gonna give this a little try. Mmm. Oh my God, that's so good. Ooh, I don't know if I need anything else. So, wow, it's actually really good because it keeps that flavor of the gochujang, but it makes the spice a lot more mild because the tahini makes it more mild. So you get that flavor, but if you are not like a big spice person, it's actually quite good for uh, people that may not be able to handle spice as much because it kind of like neutralizes it a little bit. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more gochujang because I'm crazy. Um, and I think it would be really good. I'm trying to think if I should add anything else. I feel like it's just kind of great like this. Um, but let's see. Hmm. <laughs> mm, it's so good. All right. So now we got the noodles. Lovely. They have been cooled down. So honestly, we could just like literally mix the noodles like this. This is why I'm saying I don't even think you need to do this pan situation because this pan situation um, is kind of unnecessary, but you know what? We have it out anyways, so let's use the pan. But I think what I would do next time is actually just boil the edamame with the broccoli, with the noodles, and it'll cook around the same time. So put it all together into one pot, and then afterwards, just toss it all in the sauce. Okay, it's like a five minute recipe. So anyways, we're gonna add the, the noodles in here, and then the sauce. Ooh, guys, I mean, that is just heaven on earth. And if you are wondering, yes, you can still taste that tahini as well. So both flavors are alive in this sauce. So it's a very unique sort of sauce um, and it's very delicious. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a, a little splash of water. I think this needs to be turned back on. There we go. And then just kind of toss it. Now I may need to make more sauce, who the hell knows? find out I'm a big sauce gal you know so <laughs> but that that looks creamy so as you can see it kind of creates like a really lovely creamy sort of noodle situation and um, tahini is what's really helping it become nice and creamy almost like a rosé sort of sauce Ooh, come on guys look how good this looks it's perfection <laughs> okay so as you can see here it's basically done again pan unnecessary okay so you live and you learn, guys. You don't need the pan. All you need is to cook all of this together and then just make the sauce and then toss it all in. You can do this in less than 10 minutes. I would say about five minutes. So uh, I'm gonna plate it and then we can give this a try.
guys. So here are the noodles. These are basically five minute noodles, my friends, okay? Because noodles, these noodles took less than five minutes to cook. And you can basically whip up the sauce while it's cooking. I'm gonna just mix it together. And yes, my mouth is watering. So we're gonna give this a try. And um, yeah, let's just give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, so good. That tahini makes it really creamy and almost kind of like a sticky sort of consistency. I think it's the, the noodles that I'm using as well. Really, really nice and chewy. And the sauce just like, oh, it goes so well together. Tahini and gochujang, both flavors are in there. You know, they're both in there. It's definitely a bit spicy. So if you are not into spicy, definitely add less gochujang. And if you want, you can add a little bit of soy sauce instead if you're using like less gochujang. But um, it's so good, it's so simple. Tons of flavor, I don't need to add anything else. I did top this with uh, sesame seeds and green onions. And um, yeah, it's super delicious. Mm. Mm. I think this would go really well also with like udon noodles and, and maybe soba noodles. But these noodles, oh my god, I'll link these down below. These are so good. They're like really, really nice and chewy and thin. It soaks up all that sauce. Oh, so good, you guys. So good. Okay, one more bite. One more bite. Mm. 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 So good. So guys, if you guys want to try this out, I'll link the recipe down below. So definitely try it out, you guys. And if you enjoy this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give my recipe blog post a five-star review. All you have to do is just scroll down to where you can leave a comment and leave me a five-star review if you enjoy this recipe. I really hope you try it out. It's so, so good. And I'll link a Korean recipes playlist down below. So if you guys want more ideas on Korean recipes and also how to use gochujang, I'll link that playlist down below. And I might actually do a gochujang recipes like compilation video. Is that something you might wanna see? Let me know. Anyway, try this out guys. Definitely, definitely try this out and um, hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.